Welcome back. Guys, I wanted to do like a Joy's World Tour thing, but I suddenly forgot it. He does like a... I don't know. He did something in the YouTube poop. Do you guys even know Joy's World Tour? You might not. You probably don't. Maybe you do. I know my friends would. My friends and I talk about him a lot. We like Joey's World Tour. Um, so that was a horrible way to start. But again, uh, about two people will see this. So, you know, it's it's our secret. You just don't tell anyone that I started uh, an episode this badly. And I won't tell anyone that uh, you secretly watch me in your room underneath your blanket covered with only a flashlight so that you can see your phone screen because you can't, don't want to turn your brightness up because you only have 8% battery left. But if you're going to plug it into the wall, you're going to have to remove your uh, your blanket and put a charger under it. No no bueno, you're ruining your shelter. So those, those will be our two respective secrets, and I will keep that secret for the rest of my life um, as long as you just don't tell anyone about that horrible fucking opener. And um, I think, did we recover it? Not really. But we tried. We tried to recover it at least. Uh, this mountain poses a barrier, but I—that's not actually not really that much of a barrier. Is it? It's just a couple. It's just a hop, a skip, and a jump up this mountain. Is all. I've done the hop, and I've uh, I've done the skip now. So I really just need to jump up. And uh, there's some pigs. I love pigs. Don't you love nature and and shit? This is nature, and I love nature. Just out roaming with the pigs. I saw a pig. Uh, I recently went to Hawaii. And uh, we went to Maui, and there's a wildlife refuge on Maui. Such a good place. He, he like, let you, like, kind of... I mean, it was a tour, but, like, it wasn't, like, a strict, like, you need to follow me and keep your hands to yourself. But, like, you could just, like, kind of walk, like, five feet away and pet a goat if you wanted to. And then, look, there's a tiger. Uh, but the point being, I saw this huge pig. It was so big. It must have been, like, god damn, it must have been, like... A couple hundred pounds, maybe? I don't know. It was big. It was it was a big boy. It was like, if it was standing, it was like half, it would be up to my waist. Like, it was like a, maybe three and a half tall pig, just standing on all fours. And it had a big old belly. And he was, he was loving his life. Uh, what, what biome is this? This is mountains. This is wooded mountains. That's not a taiga. That doesn't help me. I need taiga. For that. I mean, I guess that's why it didn't show up on the biome finder, right? Because it was a mountain, not a taiga. But he's the sweetest little pig I've ever seen. And he got all excited when I went to pet him. I went and I like, scratched his cheek. And, and like nobody really wanted to because he was like soaked. He was totally fucked with mud. He just loved rolling around in the shit. Like he was a mess. So like some people went up and scratched like the very top of his head where he didn't get the mud. Um, but uh, you know, I I did that too. But then before we left, I'm like, I want to go in and like, like I want to like scratch his cheek. And that cheek was fucked with mud. And when I did that, he, like, started, like, like panting, and, like, he was, like, he was, like, a dog, like, how a dog just starts, like, panting when it's happy, kind of like that. It's hard to explain, but if you were there, it's like, oh, yeah, he's really happy right now. It was, it was adorable. He was such a good pig. He was such a sweet boy. It was sad, because he was, uh, paralyzed, I think. I don't remember what it was, but, uh, I think that he was being bred for, a uh, slaughter, but he had a, uh, like a genetic issue that made him not eat uh, from his mother's nipple. He wouldn't eat, and he was a starving baby. So the place called the Wildlife Refuge... Or no, I don't think the place called the Wildlife Refuge. The place was just going to fucking kill him. Uh, we should be in... Oh, we're in a tiger. We're in berry territory. Oh, hey, look, we found berries. The place was just going to fucking kill him. But one of the employees, I think he said, called him and was like, Hey, uh, just so you know, they're going to kill this pig, and I don't want them to. Uh, and uh, they took him to the refuge. Weird to work at a... Uh, well, I guess... if you, It's weird to work at a place that raises pigs for slaughter, but then if something's going to be killed just for not being eaten, you're like, hey, that's weird. But, you know, whatever. Um, but, uh, yeah, they, they called him over. He went and rescued him. And it, it was actually worse than that. He had, like, that whatever genetic defect he had was actually pretty severe, and he couldn't even uh, stand or walk. Uh, he's he had, had he was completely paralyzed and had no use of his app, no use of his legs, uh, which was uh, uh, apparently he started to I mean not recover but he started to gain slight use of his legs, and he said that he was able to walk like ten feet and back and stand up, and uh, what made me go and scratch his cheek was before, well, as we were all leaving, um, he started to stand up because you could tell he was like. We all got there, and he's like, oh my god, there's people, I'm gonna get attention, I'm gonna get pets and shit. 
and he was so excited. Some people went up and pet him, and then he was so excited he stood up, and you could tell he was struggling. He was like all shaking and shit, like, uh, and he, like it took him like, like thirty seconds to stand up. And then when he did, everyone started leaving because it was time to go to the next thing. And I'm like, dude, this poor fucking pig. This poor pig just gave his entire life's energy into standing up because he was so excited. There were people here. He's like, I'm going to like walk over and greet the fuck out of these guys. But then everyone started walking away. It's like, whoa, well, there's nothing we can do. So I'm like, okay, I have to go back in. I went in, and he just, like, the second I started walking towards him, he, was, he like, started doing that, like that like happy panting and uh that was so sweet and then i scratched his his uh his chin and he did it even more because you can tell people probably don't go to the muddy parts to to uh to give him his scratches and he probably had an itchy uh cheek did i say chin it was his cheek he probably had an it, uh, itchy cheek and he loved it and so then i went I, I would totally like adopt that guy if i had the resources to care for a giant pig and a place to put him and like infinite mud for him it's a couple roadblocks but if if not for those i would totally adopt the fuck out of that giant pig what a what a good boy anyways uh that was my pig story i hope you liked it i said this wouldn't be a story time i can't really help myself because a lot of times uh there's just nothing going on you kind of have to just fill the space with something that's how i even got started making my last Minecraft playthrough a story time, because it was like, well, there's like a whole lot of not doing anything going on right now, so I gotta figure out some way to fucking fill the gaps here. Um, so we got this. We got almost a stack of seeds. That should be good. Wood, I could do with a little more wood. Um, I'm not crazy about spruce. I would prefer oak. Uh, we have some saplings. I'm not terribly worried about it. Maybe I'll just you. Maybe I'll just collect some spruce, and then we'll just uh, craft with this or something. I don't know. We'll, we'll just get some spruce. I'm not, I'm not like, I'm not like a spruce prude. I'm, I'm not worried about it. And, uh, we got a little sugar can. I kind of would like more, but, like I said, you know, sugar can. I mean, I don't need it for a long time. That's the whole thing, right? Is that, like, the only reason you would need sugar cane is if it's, like, like, oh my god, there's a zombie. Oh my god, he's coming. The only reason I need sugar cane is for uh, my enchanting table, and that's not going to be for a little bit. So I'm not really worried about it, to be honest with you. Oh, I can't, I can't leave that. Come on. What does this look like? A fucking joke to you? Oh my god, these guys are scaring me. This is on hard, dude. If those guys whack me, I'm getting fucked. I don't have any armor. Okay, so there's some basic resources. I think I've got everything I want. I have a stack of seeds, which is good. I have about a stack of berries, which is good. I'm going to grab some more, though, because berries are shit food source. They last, like, a whole one second per stack, so definitely going to get as many of these as I can. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to sleep, aren't I? I'm definitely going to sleep, actually, all things considered. I love sleeping, and it is one of my favorite uh, national pastimes. Do you th I think that sleeping could be a competitive sport. We could, like, make, like, a, a luge, but for people that, like, fall asleep on it. And, uh, you, like, throw them down, like, a giant tube like you would an actual luge. Like, like a, one of those, like, ice tubes that they're supposed to, like, slide around the Olympics. Is luging the right sport? I think it is. It might be wrong. Bobsledding, maybe? I think it's bobsledding. I don't know what the fuck it is. But that big, big ass sled with like four people in it that like goes around corners and stuff. Just put someone in one of those, and like send him flying down a track. The last person to wake up wins the gold medal. I think that could be a really good idea for a sport. Uh, so what are we doing now? Uh, we have located our berries, which was the main objective. Um, I think I kind of want to get some. Let me check. I have like a checklist of things I want to do. Um, I do want to get a little bit of cobblestone actually. Uh, I think. What we should probably do... Hmm. Let's, let's get some berries and then have a think about our next steps in this brave new world in which we inhabit. Um, I don't want that. I don't want that. Ow! I hate these berry bushes. I do that every goddamn time. Uh, okay. The, the flower forest is adorable. I love flower forests. Okay! Hey! Would you, wouldn't you know it? I found cobblestone, guys. Don't worry about it. I mean, technically, that's a stone. I mean, I'm just gonna really correct me on that. Um, okay, so, crafting table. I don't have enough wood. Uh, more wood. Uh, more oak. Not that. Fucking god. Okay, there we go. I just want that. 
I just want to pickaxe. Yes, sir. That's what I want. All right. That was a goddamn arduous task to collect that uh that pickaxe, wasn't it? All right. So let's. Uh, I don't even know where to start here. Let's start over here, actually, because there's coal. And uh, a whole lot of... Uh, where are we? 63? That's a very shallow lane. But there's iron. Hey, would you look at that? Would you look at that, folks? Would you look at that? We're going to come in sideways, I think. This, is, this will maximize our coal-getting capacity. Alright, let's just get a bit of coal here. Everyone loves coal. I love coal. You love coal. Actually, we're not going to use coal that much. Once we start getting into, like, kelp and stuff, we're totally going to make this coal obsolete. But, you know, it is what it is. Isn't it fun? Isn't this, like, your favorite part of the game when you go, like, digging through caves? I heard um, one of the Minecrafters I watch uh, mentioned that he was, like, watching Twitch. Because M Minecraft is getting back into popularity, and it's finding a new audience. And a lot of the new players were, like, a lot of people that haven't really played Minecraft that much are starting to get into it just because, like, on Twitch you always play, like, the game that's popular. It's how you, like, get the big bucks. And, uh, what is that sound? I oh, it's you. Should I kill you? Do you think we need ink sacks? I don't have enough inventory space. I'm getting, I'm getting too much inventory. And, like, everyone was just, uh, like, every Twitch channel I looked at was just, like, digging through, uh caves to find diamonds like everyone was stuck in the diamond stage the god he's he's fucking noobs get out of my fucking wheelhouse this is my shit all right so we are nearing the floor of this ravine and i mean i shouldn't say that because i'm glad that people are playing the game and i probably should oh he just gave me his ink sack for free and you expect me not to take it come on inventory be damned i'm taking that give me that Okay, put that up there. Put that up there. There we go. Um, yeah, more down here. Oh, ah! oh, woo! oh, I almost took like two hearts of damage. Do you know how long, when you're eating berries, do you know how long it takes to heal two hearts of damage? I'll be sitting here eating berries for like 30 seconds. I hate berries. They're just such an easy food source to get early game. And they're so easy to farm. You get like 20 stacks of it just by waiting for a minute. So like, I love berries early game, but fuck are they a really bad food source. Oh my god. So here we are. Um, before we do that, uh, a little bit of uh, coal wouldn't be in bad taste, no? And I, I can't even... I need a stone big guy. So what am I doing? Apparently I'm, like, forgetting the basic rules of Minecraft. I can't even fucking get that iron yet. Which is fine. I'm just gonna get the rest of this coal. We're gonna wait until my pickaxe breaks, and then we'll uh, go ahead and make uh, a nice little bit of... Uh, stone pickaxe. That's fun. And we'll make some stone tools. You know, we'll get the whole fucking gamut of, of, of options here. Um, I should definitely... Uh, well, I can't I make torches. What? Is that really not my recipe yet? Oh, now I can make them. Okay, weird. Um, is it getting night or is it just... Am I just getting far into this hole? Um, it appears to not be night yet. Although that's kind of deceiving, it's kind of you can't really tell if it's night like until it's already night and it's too late. I'm getting plenty of cold though, which is a good thing for me. Oh shit! All right, um, so this is where being crafty comes into the mix. Let's uh, make some stone pickaxe. I can't. Oh, I don't have sticks. Right, right. Let's make sticks out of this. I'm gonna need a lot of sticks anyways. Okay, we got a stack of sticks. Should be able to make myself a stone pick now. We'll start with stone sword. Get a pick. This is just how I always organize my inventory. It's just easier. I've just remembered the numbers this way. So, so there we go. Okay, we now have a set of tools. How nice is that? That's nice. That's nice. Okay. Just get the rest of this coal. Coal is a very important resource for the game. That's uh, cannot be overstated. And we'll get some iron, because now we have a right pickaxe for it. How exciting is this? Just a bunch of guys being dudes. All right. Let's uh, put that up. I don't need you or you. All right, so now we're starting to fill our hot bar. That's exciting. That's exciting stuff. Um, but now that we have found our basic materials... Uh, how much cobblestone do I have? I want more cobblestone. Get fucked. I'm gonna, I don't know where I'm going to dig it out. I'm going to make everything level with this block. This is my decree now. <coughs> oh, God. Why am I coughing? Oh, I didn't take my drugs today. That's why I'm not coughing. 
Oh, by the way, I just call, like, basic medications drugs. I don't, like, have, like, a awake and do crack problem. Is there a version of Wake and Bake for, like, every drug? Because that would be cool to know. I'm already at 15 minutes. How exciting. Um, I'm going to stop. <laughs>